Alright, I am trying a full screen recording here just to demonstrate um, the actual graphic mathematics of what's occurring when you're adding three forces. Now these three forces are all on a line but they would not need to be. In other words, we've got a, a beam that goes from minus 10 to 10 and you have basically a force D C going down, a force GF going down, and a force IJ going down. Now I've done the demonstration just to show you that moments of forces can be calculated about any point, so I'm calculating the moments about point A of each of those forces. So if you think here, the most standard way to think about three forces on along a beam are if they are parallel and concurrent. And if you look at this here, I'm kind of pulling them more or less straight down and the third one here and then you get to the fact that in fact you add these vectors tip to tail that's shown over on the right and then you see that they are a weighted average of these so as I go ahead and pull this one away and move it this way it moves towards that direction so you add these forces tip to tail but then to determine where that line of force is you have to come up with something that actually is as we move these forces here, one way or the other, you realize that the moment of this force, which is the area, kind of would be shown right in here. The area here has got to be equal to the sum of each of those areas, and the force has to be equal to the sum of, that, of the forces. You go about doing that by summing the moments, dividing by the sum of the forces, the vector, the sum of the area, and that essentially gives you the circle uh, upon which this um, this vector force vector lies. Now, this is going to be true of the problem that I presented out, where these are not on a, a line uh, or on a line. It's true in 3D space as well as 2D space, or in effect, the force resultant vector is then tangent to the sphere defined by the value of the sum of the moments vectors divided by the sum of the force vectors. So we'll see how that presents out on YouTube. This is a full screen, so it should be uh, pretty slow to load. So we'll see what goes on. Let's, let's go from there.